Okay, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is sales forecasting tutorial series in machine learning, and we are in our ninth part of this tutorial series. So, just to remind you of what you covered in your previous tutorial, you know, in your previous tutorial, uh, we had to create a home page, link it to our uh, CSS, that's it static files then in running flask server so in this tutorial we are going to create more function in a flask we'll create a predict function for predicting and the results uh, for returning result so here we go let's open this file uh, this is app.py so let me create another loot for 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 python flask view upload yes then this is predicting right methods methods is post method is post yes and the name of this function is def predict this is a function where prediction will be made and above it is the we call root is a lot of is a lot of function so here let's write int features is equal to bracket int bracket x then we need for for x in request i'll tell you the meaning of this request dot form dot form dot vals yes something like this yeah you know we are we want to to take more than three uh varies or input from user form so we are going to use a four in order to store red cells in the first month and the cells in second month we are going to store them in vars in int features so what's wrong here predict let me see expected <laughs> yes this should be something like this okay then after final features underscore final features final features is equal to let's put a square bracket np numpy dot array you know then we path int features so what you want to do here is to 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 change those features i mean those three vars we receive from user form which is red uh cells in the first month cells in the second month to change them into numpy array so we pass them here uh then after we need to make prediction let's say prediction 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 is equal to model dot predict then uh, we need to input final features which are the three variables we receive from user form uh, then after output output is equal to round 
bracket hope something like this round the bracket prediction square bracket is zero comma two then after we need to uh, return render temperate uh, index dot html right comma prediction uh, yes prediction text is equal to single quote cells should be should be oops should cells should be uh, dollar yes dara yes then something like this if i'm not mistaken dot format then output output you know so prediction from model will be stored in variable called called the output so here we, is format right format yeah that's it so that's that is just a mm, prediction function to make a prediction so let's let's create another app dot root right then front slash lizards this for displaying results you know uh, methods 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 is it methods is equal to post you know then let's create function def results yes thus is our function so here is i hope is data data is equal to request request dot get underscore json we need it to receive uh, input or variables by using json yes something like this predict is it pre predict is equal to model dot predict bracket square bracket np numpy array right rest then data oops rest then another bracket data dot vals values hope something like this then after there are about we need to this bracket one two yeah something like this then output output is equal to pre dict at index zero yeah <coughs> return return 
json json file then output oops json file output so it should be something like this so <coughs> here you have seen we we, we we displayed we have created the prediction text so we need to add this in our form so it should be it should stay here prediction text prediction underscore text text will appear below user form also here we need to define method which uh, we, we need to define python function which will make a prediction uh, so let's do something like this then url for right url for something like this it should be predicting url for predicting predict hope something like this so i hope this is our main task which we need to do now uh, in this tutorial series number nine so i can say thanks for 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 watching uh in our last tutorial will will be is just testing our deployed model which is a linear regression then you make a short conclusion but so far so nice thanks for watching do not forget to like put comment and subscribe for next video update goodbye